Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. We have arrived at Fabulous Friday so another week has gone. Now today is going to be, <clears throat> I'll just clear my throat first so that I can tell you, a pretty mixed bag of things. I'm going to show you something that I made and then I'm going to do a quick paper piecing demonstration and then I have 10 questions to answer. Um, I was tagged by Sweetwater Cards a couple of days ago and so I have to do those 10 questions and I'll do my best to do them. But first of all, my card. I did a frame here around the card in Dollar Tree foam board and then used different colour cardstock from Tuesday morning. And this flesh tone cardstock comes from a one pound card um, block from Tuesday morning. Uh, I haven't seen them in a little while, but when you do see them, they are mixed colours of cardstock, but they have quite a few sheets of this sort of like matte flesh tone in them. So they're well worth it for a couple of bucks. But that is my Little Mermaid, my sequins there from AliExpress. And I tried to do this very simply. Now, when I say that, I don't mean to... Um, demean or put down the efforts of anyone else out there who is just beginning because one of the things I didn't realize is that when I'm sort of saying these are really simple these are really easy to put together um, I, I was totally forgetting the fact that there are beginners and learners out there that don't know how to paper piece so today I'm going to do this mermaid again. I've cut the whole thing out in white and I'm going to show you how you put the basic pieces on from beginning to end. All the little pieces I won't do. That's just your choice and your choice of colour and your choice of decoration. But here she is and I am going to measure her for you and then go straight into doing that. Right, she is just under four and a quarter inches by, let's take the hair and the tail there, by two and a quarter inches. So that is what she looks like when she's made up and she's done in the colours of your choice. So I'm going to pop her off to there. And then I'm going to try and do one in white from beginning to end right at the side of her. Right, first of all, I like to use a little um, silicon mat. This probably measures, I'll measure it for you. It is eight inches square. And this is from AliExpress and they're about 90 cents to a dollar each. And people have said, well, why get a transparent one? Um, it's because sometimes when I'm doing Christmas cards, um, I will stamp an image and I want to add icicles or something like that. And I'll use um, a hot glue gun and glitter to create the icicles. So I can put my stamped image or card underneath my clear mat. I can get my hot gun out and I can pipe my icicles or frost or snow around the area of the stamped or printed image that I want. I can let my hot glue and glitter dry. I can peel it off my mat and put it down onto my card without it covering up any of the elements that I worked on. So that's why I like the clear ones. And the reason I like them small is because if I've got lots of little bits and bobs that need to dry I can just line up a lot of these down the kitchen counter and then just get on with something else so that is why and I will link to these below right in this bottle I have Dollar Tree white glue it's the jock glue and this is an AliExpress uh, I'm trying not to be blurred today it's quite grey outside with the needle tip and it has a little cover so that your glue doesn't go all hard and yucky on you so we're going to use that I've got my pokey tool this one is also from AliExpress it's stainless steel um, I just bought it because I like the design basically 
<laughs> there you go. A stainless steel pokey tool. The next thing is the actual die. And I have already cut out the main pieces. As I said, all else is decoration. So that is the tail. That is the body. And that is the... Um, the hair with the face embossed into it so that you know where you place this portion. So I'm going to poke those out and this is her tiny little bikini bra. Now this is where the pickup tool becomes useful and that's this one and I will link to these below. It's just a wax tip that will pick up tiny bits and as it gets a little bit sort of like fluffy or gunky from touching glue or anything like that just use a regular pencil sharpener and sharpen off that stuff and it will become nice and sticky again for you so we're going to use that and I'm going to be gluing onto craft card stock because I think this is going to give a good contrast to the white so that you can see what I'm doing so first things first we are going to poke stuff out. Now to poke out, you just turn over. You can see that there are dots on the back there that are open. And that is where you insert your poke tool. So we're going to do that. And the tail has just dropped out there. You can see all the lovely embossing and detail on that. Now I'm going to poke out the other pieces and come right back. OK, I've done that and you can see all of the detail here, which is why I, I call them easy. Um, and I'm going to go head, body, tail and bikini top. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is decide where I want the head. Now, I want it pretty centred and I want it at the top. So I'm just going to get my glue out and I'm going to apply glue just to the head area because I don't want to put any glue down where it's going to seep through. And as you can see, the, um, the hair is cut. So if I put glue along there, it's just going to come squishing through. So now I'm going to take my head. I'm going to, you have to remember I can't see very well with the camera at this angle. And I'm just going to press that down. That's all I'm going to do. And now you can see the outline of her head. So I'm going to take her body and she is solid so I can put glue on there. And if I can just figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> There we are. And now I'm going to try and position her head into that embossed area there. I hope I've got her straight. Maybe not. So I, I can't see. I think she needs shifting over just a little to the right there. Whoop. Try and get my head out of the camera. And I think that's straight. And then you just press that down. And now you've got her head. If I pick that up, pop that there. And now you have her head over her hair. Now, if you wanted her hair to be flowing, you would cut another hair and then use your scissors and cut that embossed face section out and lay it over the top. And then you've got like a full flowing um, head of hair. Now, the next thing is the tail, which will go over the body. And you can see that it's actually cut so that it will fit that V shape there so that you know where it's going to go. And we're going to apply some more glue to this. So there we go. And some on the tail because you don't want that lifting lifting up or catching and now I'm going to position that into the V of that body which is right there so that is that and now with the little bra here it's it's sort of like an off the shoulder configuration and I can roughly see 
where it needs to go so I'm just going to put a little dot of glue along there that's all I need I'm going to cap my glue because you don't want it to go hard on you and now you use your pickup tool and you pick that up and you just position it where you feel that bra should be because it's just falling off her arms there and that's it that's all you have to do it's as easy as that it really is easy there are of course some very complicated paper piecing dies out there but this really is simple now obviously cutting white the choice of hair color skin tone tail color that's all your choice and how you choose to decorate it with the other little bits that it comes with which are these um, you get coral shells fish little bubbles of water that's where once you've made the body you get to play and you get to decide where everything is going to be that you want it so for the learners and the beginners out there I hope that was useful to you and uh, I'll try not to to say that they're so easy every day because as I say people messaging me yesterday clearly it's not easy for you so I hope that has helped you today now my camera is completely blurred so let's get some focus there and I have to answer 10 questions I'm going to do my best to answer them if there's something I'm not comfortable answering then I won't do it but here goes right tagged by Sweetwater cards question number one what color palette am I using for the holidays well mm, I would like to say traditional with bling but I am eccentric it's why this channel is called craft eccentricity and if there's a colour that I like or a colour that I want to use, then I don't really care about the season. I'm I'm going to use it. But for now, I will say traditional and bling. Question number two. What drink makes me feel amazing during the holidays? Well, I have to say it's water. <laughs> because I follow a strict keto diet and I have done... For the past two and a half years since uh, being told that I was um, type 2 diabetic and since doing the keto diet, I'm not going to, you know, sort of whistle and bells to everybody about this. Uh, my type 2 diabetes has completely gone. My high blood pressure has gone and it's completely cured me of every other um, illness that I ever had. So... I just drink water and I don't miss any of the stuff that I used to eat at all. Right, number three, favourite holiday craft and why? Well, for me personally, it has to be handmade ornaments because I get to use them every single year. I will put the date on the back of them. So there's always great memories attached to decorating the Christmas tree with things that I made from years before. Right. Question four. One holiday craft item I would want to receive. Well, that's an easy one. <laughs> I would like many, many more um, crystal and white sequin bead mix blends because... Um, they're something that I use a lot of and I do separate pieces out from sequins and use them on other things when I want to get all sort of tonal. So crystal and white sequin bead mixes. Number five, favourite holiday memory. Now this is one where I don't really want to go there so I will just say that it was my first Christmas with my husband who is the absolute love of my life he's my rock and my island he's my port in a storm and I love him very very much so it would be my first Christmas with my husband 
Question number six. Number one, craft supply. I want this holiday. Well, if somebody was going to gift me a craft supply, I would ask for some more German glass because I use a lot of German glass on vintage ornaments and my supply is running low. So I do like the very fine grade or fine grit of German glass glitter. So if anybody wants to send me some, please feel free. I, I quite like the vintage pink and platinum. Right. Question number seven, holiday treat on a holiday. Well, as I've just said, I'm completely keto, so I don't really have treats. And if I have something special, it would be an Atkins peanut caramel bar. So that's what I would consider my candy, my box of chocolates, whatever. So that's what I would have. My favourite smell is question number eight. Uh, for the holidays and I would say sensicles in white winter fur those are those long sticks with hooks that you can hang on your Christmas tree and I usually do plaster my Christmas tree with them and they just smell absolutely wonderful so that's my favorite smell number nine my favorite holiday paper pad oh wow if I'm to be completely honest, it would be the Farmhouse Paper Company Balsam Paper Pad. The Farmhouse Paper Company is no longer in business. I think they went out of business about five or six years ago. And I probably cried when I heard about it because their paper was the best paper. The quality, the thickness, the graphics, it was just absolutely delightful to work with. So I can't get that anymore. So if I was to choose one for this season, it would be Stamperia's Vintage Christmas. So that's going to be my one for this year. Number 10, one craft item that I make each year. And that would be ornaments again, and usually gingerbread -y type ornaments. So that is the answer to those 10 questions. Now it's Friday. You have a fabulous weekend, and I will see you on Monday. All links as usual below. Bye.